Hey everyone, how are you doing? Issues with formatting? I know they can be extremely annoying and frustrating, but we know how to fix it. Let's go! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael from the recovery team and back with more practical data solutions. If you enjoy these kind of videos, then consider subscribing to the channel because that's what we usually do here. And I know today's thing, today's trouble, it's a very annoying one and, and happens very often, especially for all of you that deal with removable drives, flash drives, cameras and SD cards and so on, because it can be extremely frustrating. You, you, you try to format your micro SD card and it simply doesn't work and it drives you crazy. But let's first of all talk about what could be the potential reasons for this thing occurring. We can group these causes into four major sections. Of course, the most popular one I'm going to show you here, micro SD card, and it has a lock mechanism. The most common issue, you have set the right protection on your micro SD card. Second possible issue could be a hardware damage. You've dropped down your hard drive and then you wonder why it doesn't work well. It's probably broken. Third common scenario could be a bad sector or a lot of bad sectors, which are just preventing the operating system and the file systems to be properly working together. And last but not least, virus or malware, they can lock an entire drive and that could also result into you not being able to format. Regardless of the root cause or the situation or how critical the condition is, there are a number of fixes and we're going to start with the most common one using the Windows inbuilt disk management. Yes, there are a lot of alternative apps which can help you to manage these drives, but we're going to stick to the tradition. So let's launch the Windows disk management. Just right click this PC icon and click manage. Click the disk management to launch the management window. Now right click on the drive that you want to format and just tap format. Use the drop down menu to set the right file format. While you're at it, make sure to check the quick format option. Finally hit the OK button in order to complete the process. Even though the Windows disk management is a very powerful utility, there are certain conditions where it could be helpless and in that kind of situation we might have to use a small command line based utility called disk part and this disk part utility is launched through command line and giving you access to certain set of commands which can be very helpful when dealing with bad sectors. Press Windows and R, type disk part in the run explorer, hit enter, you're going to be prompted to the command prompt window, type list disk, press enter. A list of all the available disks is going to be displayed on your screen. Use select disk in order to select the particular disk that you want to format. If it's an external drive, simply type format fs equals ntfs quick, press enter. This is going to format the hard drive using the ntfs file system and you will be able to access it without any hassle. Finally, type exit in order to close this part and close the command window. Right, if none of the solutions so far are working, we go to option 3, where we want to disable the right protection. Well, it's pretty easy if that's an SD card with the right protection switch, but life is not always perfect, so there are certain devices where you have right protection feature enabled and there is no hardware switch. In order to trigger this off, again, we might need disk part. We do the same as in the previous task. We use the select disk command in order to select the desired disk whose write protection is enabled and we want to remove. Then we type attributes disk clear read only. We press enter. This is going to remove the write protection from the selected hard drive and you won't encounter the same Windows was unable to complete the format message any longer. The next solution is related to the condition where we have malware or viruses inside the drive we want to properly format. So if it's locked because of viruses, apparently we need to find a good antivirus, scan the whole drive and make sure that this antivirus is going to get rid of every single malware or virus that is stored onto the drive. If it's not a virus, it could be related to the file system. And if you follow our tutorials regularly, you know that there's a way how to check the file system condition. If you have forgotten how to do it, let me quickly remind you about it. Open File Explorer, connect the external device to the computer, right click and select Properties. Under the Tools tab, click the Check button under Error Checking 
then you could choose to scan the drive or you could use the repair option in order to find any possible errors wait for the procedure to complete and after all the errors have been fixed likely a format is going to be possible finally if none of these solutions so far are working could be that you have a hardware damage if you still have access to your drive that's really good news because you can always visit the repair center and ask these people to get your data back or if the drive is still being recognized by the operating system I can tell you how you by sitting at home downloading a very basic and simple to use software can get all the files that you need back yes we're going to use recover it download the software from our official website and install it launch Wondershare recover it select the drive could be internal or external drive USB micro SD and so on just make sure to choose the source where you want to recover data from click the scan button wait until the process is over select and preview the files that you want to recover and after choosing the files that you want to be repaired just click the recover button choose the location where everything is going to be recovered and here the idea is to use a difference to the affected drive and wait until the process is over there we go five different solutions of how you can fix this condition of not being able to format a drive and also you have this bonus idea in case it still doesn't work at least how to get your lost files back which could be a really important part at the end of the day if any of those procedures has helped you to either recover the condition or repair some files that you thought were lost then give us a like if you have some other ideas or you know another way of how this can be fixed then go ahead share with us in the comments below my name is michael and if you enjoy this kind of practical data solutions make sure to be subscribed so that we can see each other in the next episode which is for a wonderful day bye